Hey guys, in the last few videos, I've been showing how to add different applications to your Open Media Vault server in order to add some more functionality so you can get more use out of your server. The problem is after a while, all those different port numbers start to get confusing and it's hard to keep track of what is where. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install something called Heimdall, which is a bookmarking application that is perfect for uh, managing a server like this. Uh, it's a great bookmarking tool. So I tell you what, let's just jump over to my desktop and take a look. So once you've got your Open Media Vault set up and you've got Portainer running and you've got you know, Docker running with all kinds of different instances on it, you know, like say you've got Qubit Torrent, you've got Transmission, you've got Plex, they all run on the same uh, IP address, but the ports are all different. And sometimes it can be a nightmare to remember what is on what port. So that's where this service called Heimdall comes in. I may be pronouncing that wrong. If I am, I apologize, but uh, we're gonna use Heimdall to get uh, a, a bit of um, clarity to where everything is on our server. So uh, if you watched my last couple of videos about Qubit Torrent and Transmission, you know that I love using Docker Compose and Stacks. So what we're gonna do, there, sorry, my apologies, that was Reddit blowing up. Holy cow, one second here, uh, let's mute that. Okay, so uh, we're gonna use Stacks. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go over here to Portainer. Uh, you can see that I was actually just finished recording another video here, but I'm on a roll, so let's go with it. So let's go over here to Stacks. Uh, we're gonna click on Add a Stack. Uh, I'm just gonna paste that in. Again, I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna name this Heimdall. Um, so. Uh, again, lines one through uh, seven, uh, we don't have to do anything with. Uh, the next thing we gotta do is figure out our PUID and PGID. You may already know this, uh, but if you don't, uh, here's how to find out. Uh, I'm gonna open PuTTY, and then I'm gonna drag that up, but I'm gonna type in my uh, server's IP address, and I'm going to, of course, drag this back up over to the, oops, over to here, getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna log in as root. like so, and I, both of the uh, uh, accounts that I log into for uh, Portainer and for Open Media Vault is called admin. So I'm just gonna type an ID space admin, and there we can see the UID or PUID is 998, and the GID or PGID is 100. So I'm gonna change this to 998 and that one to 100. I am very close to Denver, so I'll type in uh, America slash Denver. And then the next thing we got to do is figure out uh, what we want the path to the configuration file for this uh, instance to be. So again, if you watch my other videos, you know that I'm just going to come right over to here. I'm going to right click. I'll go to inspect. You don't have to do it this way. You can manually type it, but I'm lazy. So this is how I do it. Uh, so we're going to go over here. We're going to paste this right into there and we're going to call this uh, Heimdall like that. And uh, because I've already got Open Media Vault running on port 80, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. I'm just going to give this, oops, yeah, that'll work, 6941. Uh, we're just going to give it that port to access it on the server. So uh, once we've got all of that, all we have to do, and you can change this, I should stop. You can change this to be basically whatever port you want. Uh, just make sure that it's not a port that's already being used by something else as it will have a fit and it won't work. Uh, so 6941 is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on deploy the stack. This one should load pretty quickly because there's not a lot going on here, but it's a very, very useful surface that I love having on my servers. Okay, so there is Heimdall running in the stack. Let's go over to containers, make sure that Heimdall is running. Uh, we'll click on the logs just to make sure. So it's creating an app key. We're gonna give this a minute to do its thing, uh, just to make sure that everything works the way we want it to. And just to see if maybe this has stopped, what we can do is we can type in our IP address. I'm gonna go to uh, port. We did 6941 and click enter and uh, Nope, so it is still uh, working there in the background. So we'll give this just a little while uh, to make sure that everything is going to run the way we want it to. Okay, so now we've got, uh, it, said it looks like everything here is good to go. So I should be able to come back over uh, to this page and click reload. There we go. Now it says there are no uh, currently no pinned applications. That's fine. So what we're gonna do is we'll come over here to this little checklist. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. We're gonna click on add. And uh, I'm gonna call this a uh, portainer. Uh, yep, and you can see it automatically tried to fill, which means it will then fill in all of the little blanks for us. So what I'll do then is I'll come over and I'll grab that URL for portainer there. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that in there like so, and I'll click save. So there's poor Tainer. Uh, let's do, uh, let's add another one. Uh, let's say qubit torrent. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. So you can see as I'm typing that in, it automatically filled in. URL there, just like so. Um, and we'll go ahead and say save. We're gonna do the same thing here for Plex. Let me go ahead and type that in. I'm gonna type in Plex. Uh, there we go, we'll type in Plex. Now, of course, here I'll have to change this to 32400 slash web slash index.html. And we'll go ahead and click on save. And uh, once we've got all of that, now you can see that we've got these three tabs right here. If I click that, bang, there we go. Uh, automatically, this is like your own little, oops. So this one, this one's a little finicky. I have run into this on other servers. Uh, sometimes you just gotta manually go back there and type in that HTTP, but there you go. Uh, Plex, same thing. Uh, and this way you've got a little bookmark bar here that you can uh, kind of make your home screen. So you don't actually have to use this just for local services. You could, uh, if you wanted to, like I've got um, a Plesk server set up somewhere and I could go over here and I could type in uh, Plesk like so, and it automatically recognizes that. Then I could put my URL in there for right, you know, right there. Um, and it would, let's just, uh, no, nope, I'm not even gonna do that. But you could use this for other services as well, if you wanted to. So this is a very, very useful service, just to make sure that you've got uh, links directly to all of your favorite things on here. This is a great way to set up a home screen to access the things that you wanna access. Okay guys, so there is Heimdall. I really hope you enjoyed this particular application. I use it so much in order to not have to remember what port is uh, for what application. Uh, sometimes it gets confusing. You get different applications with very similar port numbers, things like that. And uh, Heimdall is a great way to just make sure you don't have to remember any of that stuff. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, it would be great if you guys would do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up, it would help me out a ton. And I think with all of that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.